Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dan here from Sports Cards UK and in today's video we've got another collection video. So in this video we're going to be talking specifically about the cards and the stickers that I have from players during their Euros and their World Cup performances. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so I've got a number of cards and stickers here. Um, most of them are going to be in grade fit sleeves um, because they're going to be going off to grading. So I'm going to be using graded gem. We're going to start off with sticker number one. Now this is Gascoigne. This is Paul Gascoigne and this is his first World Cup, which is Italia 90. Now this isn't actually his rookie card, as you'll see with some of the uh, cards that I show it will actually be their rookie card as that's the first um, year that they Essentially had cards or stickers come out of them. This isn't his rookie card um, I will put the rookie card on screen. I believe it's the daily sport daily mirror And it is earlier than this But this is his first World Cup card now. This is really really cheap. I paid under 10 pounds for this at the time um, And I'm really glad I did because it's in really good conditioning condition the, um, the centering is quite good. It's a little bit off from left to right. You can see the left is slightly thinner, but the condition is really, really nice. So I'm not too worried about that at all. So that is the first one. That is Paul Gascoigne's first uh, World Cup appearance was Italia 90. And what a year for World Cup that was, what a year. So we've got Thierry Henry as our second. Now this is considered his rookie in that it's his rookie year. He does have his true rookie card is in his can jersey, um, which again I'll put up on screen, is silly expensive. It's so, so expensive. Um, one sold for thousands of pounds um, in like a PSA eight or nine. And it's really, really difficult to get hold of. And it's super expensive, so it's way out of my budget. But this one is relatively um, cheap. I think I picked this up for around 10 pounds i picked one up for 10 and one for 20 so i own a couple of these um the one i picked up for 10 was really early on around april time maybe um whereas i think these probably sit at 20 30 pounds now i haven't actually looked at the um the price for these but this is thierry Henry in his france jersey in france 98 uh big year for france as they actually won the world cup this year they hosted the world cup and won the world cup um so it's a big one for France. The jersey is just fantastic. I mean, that is such a cool looking jersey. Or football shirt, or whatever you call it, depending on where you're from. And then you've got the, the details at the back. You can see that. So number, sticker number 172. So I'm excited to send that off for grading. Now, obviously the centering, I'll just bring that back. The centering is off on this one. You can see the right hand border is way thicker than the left one, but I'm not too worried about that at all. Now up next we have a goalkeeper. Now if you're investing in football cards or stickers, I would normally tell you to go away and stick away from goalkeepers. It's probably not a good investment, but considering how cheap I picked this up, this is England's second best goalkeeper of all time, Peter Shilton. Um, you could argue that the, the best was probably Gordon Banks who led us to the 1966 World Cup win, uh, but probably second would be Peter Shilton. And this is from a Spania 82. So this was his, um, I think this was his first World Cup appearance. He had, um, he might've had a Euros and he might've failed to qualify for some of the other ones, but this is his, definitely his first World Cup appearance. Um, and that's him in his, his England shirt there. Really good condition, paid a couple of quid for this. Centering's brilliant. Um, and I do actually quite like the look of the uh, Spania 82 uh, sticker. So there's that one. Now next up we have Platini. So this is Platini from Europa 80. Um, now with Platini there's a bit of controversy because obviously the issues um, of that he had with Sepp Blatter, um, they found out he accepted a payment of $2 million and he was suspended from uh, football for a while, I think till 2023 or something along those lines. So there is a bit of controversy around Platini but he was a fantastic player. Um, his first World Cup, this isn't his first World Cup, as his first World Cup was Argentina 78. So you can get that as his rookie if you like. 
There's an FKS sticker, which is similar to the Zico one, which I'll show in a second. But this one was super cheap, so I picked this one up relatively cheap, around under £10 again. Um, and that's him in his France jersey there with the Adidas, old Adidas logos, which I do really like on the football shirts. So there's that. We've also picked up a Kevin Keegan World Cup Espana 82. Um, this was his first World Cup appearance because he had a couple of World Cups before that that he failed to qualify for. Um, so there was the 78 and the 74, it must have been, that England failed to qualify for. Uh, but Kevin Keegan did, I believe, captain the uh, World Cup team at Espana 82. We were knocked out by West Germany, who then went on to win the competition. Um, but I think he was actually nominated to, in the team of the tournament. Um, so that kind of just shows how good Kevin Keegan is. He's one of top 10 uh, England goal scorers um, of all time. Great striker, uh, funny guy, good manager, managed Newcastle for a while. Um, and yeah, that's Kevin Keegan. Slightly underlooked, I think, but I do like him. Then we have Zico. So I mentioned about the Platini sticker from Argentina 78. This is it. Now, this isn't a Panini sticker. Most of the ones that you'll see here are Panini stickers. This is FKS. So FKS didn't actually have a printed back. It still is uh, like an adhesive. You can still peel this off and stick this in the book. But there isn't any printed backs on the FKS stickers. Now, this one's in really good condition, actually. I do own two of these, and both of these are going to go off for grading. Um, and it's just, I love the kind of the pink and the yellow. It's very, very cool looking uh, sticker, and I'm quite happy to have this in my collection. So this is his rookie. This is Argentina 78. He does have a 78 sticker of him in his um, club jersey. But yeah, this is the first World Cup and his rookie year. So this is a good one to pick up if you're looking at Seco. Now next up, we have Maldini. And this is his first uh, international competition. His first World Cup was Italia 90, same as Gascoigne. But this is uh, UEFA 88. So this is the Euros. Um, very, very good looking uh, sticker, I think. Um, Maldini's one of the best of all time fantastic he was a wizard on the ball um brilliant brilliant player um so that one i'm definitely happy to have in my con in in my collection the conditioning on this is or the why do i keep saying conditioning the condition of this particular card is really really good um and you can see that the centering is actually quite good on this um, so i'm excited to see what this comes back as when i send that off to psa We've got Beckenbauer here. So this is the 1972 uh, Euros. Now this is the Europa 80 sticker. So it's a kind of a, uh, a more older um, or recent print, but it does reference the 1972 Euros, which he captained um, them for the first time to win the Euros in 1972, and then went on to win the World Cup in 1974, um, which he captained both teams. So. Beckenbauer is easily one of the best players of all time. Um, and that's a really cool sticker that kind of takes a picture from that moment and has the World Cup in the, um, or has the Euros in the uh, the bottom right-hand corner of that, that sticker there. I do love the border. You can see there's a little bit of a, a print issue on the top here, a bit of a smudge. Again, I'm not too worried about that. The back's still in good condition. It's not gonna come back a PSA 10, of course. Um, but that in a, in a PSA slab I think would look really, really nice. So I'm happy happy to have this one in my collection. So the next one I've wanted to unveil for a while, uh, this is the Maradona sticker. And this is from Mexico 86. So I think he has a Euro, he may have a Euro or he may have a tournament 82 because 82 was his first World Cups. Now this did cost me a lot more than the others close to around sort of 90 pounds for this particular sticker which is a lot and the centering isn't great however the condition of this car the sticker is really really good the corners are really sharp so the only thing that's going to let it down is just the centering you can clearly see that this right hand border is thicker than the left hand but what a fantastic looking sticker still in really really good condition for 86 because a lot of these stickers were kind of thrown around or stuck in books they weren't necessarily kept in as good condition as this one was, but really, really happy to have this in my collection and cannot wait to see this in a PSA case. So happy with that. Arguably the best of all time. Up for debate. Now we've also got this Ronaldo um, card. This is the only card from this particular um, collection that I'm showing you here. 
This was actually packed on the channel. I hadn't realized how much this card goes for until I looked after the video. So if you would have seen my um, Korea Japan World Cup sticker opening, I decided to go on eBay and buy two packets of the um, FIFA World Cup cards. And I said in the video, I'd never seen these packets before, never opened them up. Um, so I don't, I don't ever remember them. I remember the stickers, but I don't ever remember seeing cards. We only had two packets and we managed to pack a Ronaldo, which was like the one, pretty much the one to hit, which I was extremely happy about. But on the video, I didn't have much of a reaction about it until after. And I was like, oh, I had completely forgot that this was his first World Cup appearance. And so I was really, really happy to have this in my collection. Um, it's pack fresh, which is brilliant. Um, there's actually two cards in here. I'm not sure why. For some reason we've got the Argentina badge there, but that's the back of the card. So you can see the corners are really, really sharp. Um, so let's be careful about putting this back in. And that is going straight off for grading. There we go, slide that in. Really, really cool card. Means a lot as well, because I packed it on the channel. Um, so to have a, a decent card that I packed on the channel to send it off for grading and a player that is obviously one of the best of all time. Again, I'm probably saying all these players are the best of all time, but this is one of the best players that I've watched. I'd say him, Thierry Henry and Zidane were the best players that I watched growing up. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with that. Next up, we've got uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So this is his first uh, appearance in a World Cup. This is FIFA 2002. Now this is classed as his rookie sticker, but he does have a club rookie sticker that is slightly um, younger than this one. And it's him in his Malmo jersey. Um, he was obviously, he grew up and was born in, in Malmo and he's done a lot for Malmo, his hometown. Um, including kind of build football cages and, and places for, for kids to kind of play football and get recognised and hopefully uh, move into the, the, the Swedish league play football professional football but yeah Zlatan what a beast Zlatan is one of one of the, the, my favorite players to, to watch growing up as well um, this is a really cool sticker that I paid about 20 pounds for it's worth way more than that now um, so I was really happy I picked this up early um, before the kind of the hype around this particular sticker I do only own one um, we did do the 2002 sticker opening and I didn't actually manage to pack one of these um, but I did want to but I'm glad I've got one in my collection anyway to send off for grading. And the centering on this is actually really, really good. So I'm hoping this does come back a good grade. Now next up, we've got a couple of stickers that probably some of you may own as these are sort of fairly more recent compared to the other ones that I've shown. These are uh, Ronaldo and Messi's 2006 World Cup stickers. Funnily enough, it's both their first World Cups, uh, two of the greatest players of our generation and they both share the same World Cup date. Really happy with these. The centering on the Ronaldo is really good. The one on Messi, not so much. You can see the, the uh, left hand side is slightly thinner than the right, um, but really happy with these. The story with these is I actually bought a, I have a completed um, 2006 World Cup book from my childhood, completely complete. I managed to collect the whole thing. There's not a sticker missing. But the book was so battered that years and years ago, I decided, because I was trying to collect like World Cup stickers, that's kind of how I started into this thing, which I've, I've said a million times. I decided to buy a blank book that was in really good condition, and then someone was selling all of the stickers complete with the book, but the stickers were separate. They weren't stuck in the book. So what I did is I left it like that for a long while to keep it as fresh as possible. I was gonna keep it for a long, 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 long time, maybe give to my kids, something like that in the future. I don't have any kids, but <laughs> lay it down the line. Um, until the sports cars market blew up and actually to get these stickers separately was actually worth more than having a kind of a completed book. So I took these stickers out and I'm gonna send these off for grading. So I'm gonna do it that way as opposed to keeping a complete book. So I pretty much have a complete book now with two stickers missing <laughs> and it is these two. Um, but I still have my battered completed book and it's got a bit of character, I suppose, to it. Um, 
bit of personality. So there we go, we've got those two. Now next up, we have another Thierry Henry, which I've already spoken about, so we'll just move on to the next one. We've got a Zinedine Zidane. Again, this is his first World Cup, same as Thierry Henry. It's his uh, winning World Cup in his hometown. This is a really important big sticker, um, absolute wizard on the ball, uh, currently managing now. Uh, managing Real Madrid, which is, again, fantastic. He's kind of building on that legacy. And yeah, again, one of my favourite players to watch up to watch when I was younger. He looked like he had so much time on the ball. Um, it was almost like when he took his first touch, everything just went into slow motion. It was just insane watching him. He, the small little touches he took on the ball, was, he was just an incredible player. Absolutely incredible. So I've got a couple of these. One of them I did pack in the... Uh, France 98 World Cup sticker opening, which is a, is live on my channel. Um, and then the other one I did actually purchase. So there we go. I hope you did enjoy this collection video. Um, if you do enjoy this style of video, then please do let me know. Um, I'm more than happy to do more of these. Um, I have got another sort of collection bundle that I've bundled up that I can talk about for football as well. Um, it's going to be similar to this one but it's more it's players that are playing now that are in their sort of late 20s 30s but it's their rookies so we're just to give you an example we're looking at a Neuer rookie card we're looking at a Raheem Sterling Champions League sticker in his Liverpool jersey so we're going to look at more sort of current rookies so I've got that one to come up um, but I can always bundle up some other collections as well there's some a few cards that you may not have seen on Mail Mondays or, and some ones that are exclusive that you haven't seen on Mail Mondays as I've opened them up separately. There isn't too many of those as I do just generally try and open up everything on a Mail Monday and save all the packages. There's loads of packages down there, for example, that I'm saving up for a Mail Monday. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, then please do let me know. Um, drop a big like on the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next collection video. Thanks very much.